Hello and welcome to the End User Report. This is Clarence. I'm Jamal. And today we're going over our Xmas wish lists. Black Friday is about a week away now, so we thought we'd uh, maybe give you some items to think about when you're out there shopping. So Jamal, why don't you go ahead and give us a start off? Okay, well my first Black, uh, Black Friday uh, wish list starts with uh, the reader in your family. And uh, I've chosen the Amazon Kindle. Um, the price of the Kindle at first is 139 for the Wi-Fi version and 189 for the 3G Plus Wi-Fi. Now there are there are other ebook readers out there. I just like the Amazon Kindle because of the extensive uh, Amazon uh, bookstore that is included in, in the Kindle. Um, has a much better contrast ratio than other ebook readers out there, and um, it comes in both a six-inch display. And if you wanted the DX, which is going to occur, run you of roughly $379, but that also gives you a 10 inch, well, 9.7 inch display, um, which is pretty good if you're like into reading newspapers and uh, magazines. Um, and how about you? What did you? What is your first on the list? My first on the list is more for the gamer in your family, um, and I'm gonna actually go with the Move. And for those who don't know, this is uh, the PlayStation's motion control system. It's a two controller system, uh, a tracking controller and a navigational controller, and it also uses the PlayStation Eye camera. Uh, you can get all three of those uh, together for $99. You can get it bundled with a 320 gig PS3, uh, and that's $399. Um, now, there's currently about 43 games compatible <coughs> for the move. Uh, plus, they're scheduled to come out with another about 15 or so throughout the holiday season. Um, so if you're kind of sick of playing the Wii, uh, or if you don't own a Wii and, and PlayStation's what you have, this is definitely something for you to look at. Seems to be out of the new ones between the, uh, the Xboxes, uh, Motion Sensor, and the, uh, and the Move. I think the Move seems to be like the better deal. Um, so it looks like the technology is really, they kind of hit it right on the nail in terms of the technology. Well, it's using a little bit older technology, um, but Connect's a different experience altogether. Uh, when we get to Connect, it's not just using your arms and controllers, it's using your whole body, and that's where the difference is. Um, so, of course, Microsoft are going to hit you a little bit up mm -hmm. more for that. Um, what's next on your list? Well, my, my next list is basically uh, any of you who have a uh, person in the need of a uh, new smartphone. I've chosen the Samsung Galaxy S. Um, it's basically an Android phone. It uh, really what kind of I think separates it from. Uh, it's the closest. It's really a good competitor to the iPhone. And if you're not happy with AT&T with the Samsung, you can go on to Verizon. You can use it on T-Mobile, and you can also use it on AT&T. Um, it has an uh, active matrix organic light emitting diode or AMOLED screen, 4 inch screen, 1 gigahertz processor which you would expect from any kind of type of phone, 5 megapixel camera with autofocus which is pretty neat, it has HD um, video and which is pretty interesting and I like it, it comes with a Android 2.2 already installed on the phone so no more of this will I only get Android 2.1, and that's it. Multi-touch multi zoom, multitasking, and of course, the Android market, which basically makes Android phones what they are. Um, pricing varies depending on the service provider that you go with, um, and whether or not you go with a two-year contract or not, depending. Uh, but that's it. I just want to throw in here, as we're going through our list, uh -huh. we're not mentioning anything from the House of I, it hasn't anything from Apple. We're not hating on Apple, it's just, at this point now, saying you want an Apple device is almost cliche, um, because they put out mm -hmm. so many products that people want. We will see my next list. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking the Haterade this morning. <clears throat> Go ahead. What's but I'm next here, and I'm gonna continue with the gaming thing, because, well, that's what I do, unlike some of us here. <laughs> Um, I'm going with Connect, and Connect was released uh, back on November 4th, and this is just one device. Uh, there's no controller because, well, you are the controller. That's the big plug. Um, 
Now, it is the least accurate out of the three motion control systems if you're talking you know, between the Wii and the Move. Uh, that's because it's using a little bit of newer technology. It's going to cost you a little bit more, roughly $149.99 on its own. Bundle it with a 4 gig Xbox, is $299. Uh, 300, 250 gig hard drive Xbox, you're talking $399.99. There's only about a handful of games out for it right now. Um, but there's about 17 scheduled to come out throughout the holiday season. And from someone who's had Kinect since the day of launch, it is quite a different experience than if you've used the Wii or the Move, you're using your entire body. Um, so, you know, as opposed to on the Wii where you have to run like this, you actually have to use your legs. Um, so it's a different experience. It is an addicting experience. I think anyone who has an Xbox, it's definitely worth checking out. If you're sick of the Wii, it is definitely something to look into. It's also nice if someone new who in your family already has an Xbox. It's a nice little addition to add to the uh, to the console. Um, so especially if you play a game, for instance, I play Dan Central, which you got to be kind of brave to play that game, but uh, <laughs> definitely an addicting experience. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So. I guess my next one, um, I know you mentioned about nothing of the House of I, but I am going to mention something from the House of I. <laughs> However, um, my next one is basically the uh, I iPad. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the specs, nor am I going to bore you about, you know, pricing. We all know about the pricing. However, it really is the ultimate entertainment, um, portable entertainment system for otakus. <laughs> what is an otaku? Basically, an otaku is, is basically someone who is like completely obsessed with Japanese manga and animation and, and culture and basically anything else dealing with that. Why I think it's the ultimate? Because you can read your manga on it, you can watch your videos, you can um, watch your YouTube videos, and net streaming videos, and uh, country roll. A lot of things you can do with the um, with the iPad that you probably can do with uh, any other device. Um, although, if you want just a cheap manga reader, then I would mention the Kindle. But uh, that's it from the House of I. <laughs> I'm surprised you even went with the iPod. I know I was surprised too, but you know, right now of all the choices, that's really the only viable one out there. I don't know, but the Galaxy S tabs are out now. So yeah, I, I have Ooh. to see how it looks. Go check I played around with it. You know, I like it ports. So I know you like ports. I like ports. So. Yeah. But that's it. That's five. That's the first part of our list. So make sure you check into part two when we go over our final five.